Hi guys, Virginia here and welcome back to a new layout for Confessions of a Paper Edit Cut Files. I'm using the uh, book Wreath. This is a recent release cut file. Uh, super cute, super fun um, and a great way to start a layout. <laughs> I'm using uh, Crepe Paper's uh, Garden Party Collection. I've got a ton of this. Um, I've got some of the 12x12 12 12 sheets. I've got the 12x12 12 12 paper pad. Um, and a, just a ton of embellishments um, so I'm going through uh, that stuff and um, just kind of picking colours from those pattern papers to kind of back this wreath so I don't make you watch the whole thing <laughs> it's a really simple um, uh, backing um, cut files but uh, I think for like a wreath design like this it's it's just to kind of make things a little bit simple is just kind of pick a color or a pattern paper and back a few uh, portions of the cut file um, with that uh, pattern paper uh, just kind of choosing a few spots around the wreath and then move on to the next color and keep going like that and then eventually you end up back in the entire cut file but you've got a really nice spread of color around the wreath I hope that makes sense um, but that's just what I'm doing at the moment. Um, if you weren't aware, it's uh, Confessions of Paper at the Cut Files' fifth birthday this month. Um, I cannot believe it's been five years since I... It's actually been longer than five years, <laughs> I think. <laughs> um, definitely five years since we opened the shop and um, uh, started uh, sharing uh, some of these super fun cut files. So... Um, if you ever want to check out the shop, there is a link in the description box below. Um, and this month we've got five challenges going on. Five of our design team members, well our five <laughs> design team members have all set a challenge. Uh, so if you want to have a go, um, they are available in the Facebook group. Um, and a winner will get a $25 uh, discount uh, at the store. So that's, that's uh, a fair few cut files <laughs> uh, just for having to go to challenge, which is um, pretty cool. Um, and then we've also got five free cut files available over at the Facebook group. So if you're a member, you can get your hands on those over the course of this month. Um, yeah, super fun. Okay, so I've gone ahead, I've backed that entire cut file, I've popped it up on some adhesive foam, just to give it a little bit of lift. Um, I did like that really light pink pattern paper that I had there, but um, like I've mentioned in previous videos, I'm kind of still um, more so skewing towards a white paper background, that's just what I'm liking at the moment, and that's fine, I'm going with it, but I, I do bring that pink pattern paper back in later on. Um, I did go ahead and just trim down my photos. I print my photos on my Canon Selfie. I use the Photo Grid app to kind of shrink them down and resize them. Um, so gone ahead and done that. Back them with um, a layer of pattern paper and then just kind of stack them to the left. That kind of, kind of tends to be my go-to design when it comes to a wreath. Is have it obviously central and then my photos. And I mean it works for me. That's okay. <laughs> totally okay um, and now I'm just going to start kind of adding some embellishment so I've got a little tag there I just threaded some gold thread through it a few times so it's nice and messy but it's a nice little pop of gold put in a little vellum gold uh, bow just at the top left hand of one of my photos and now I'm making a little shaker pocket out of this little gold frame um, I really thought it was really cute and I thought well what can I do differently with this shaker pocket came to mind. I haven't done one of those with an embellishment for I don't know how long. So, um, And I'm really happy with it. It's a nice little touch on the layout. So I've just backed that frame with some acetate. And now I'm just adding a layer of uh, white foam. Um, and then I'm going to bring in some sequins and coordinating colours with the colours that are in this collection. So lots of really soft pinks and greens and um, some little sparkly iridescent ones as well. Um, so now we're going to pink, green. Now there's a really old sequin so I'm not sure where they're from. A couple of yellow, some little sparkly ones. And I'm going to bring in some clay hearts. Um, I believe, and this is just, I'm not sure what the mix is from, but uh, I mean, if you've got a little clay sprinkle mix, you'll probably be more than likely to be able to find a nice little shape that you could add in. It just adds a little bit of different kind of texture, I guess, within the shaker pocket. Okay, and then just for a point of difference, I'm going to back that shaker pocket with a bit of, a bit of um, vellum 
and that's just going to kind of mute everything that's going on behind it um, and let those sequins really shine. So I'm using ATG tape, we've got vellum, it's going to buckle, it's going to crinkle, it's going to take ages to dry so I figured I'd have a go with ATG tape, worked just fine. <laughs> I just had to kind of muddle with it a little bit to make sure that all my sequins weren't going to stick to it but happy with how it turned out. So I'll just go ahead and trim off that excess vellum and then I can find a home for it. So my first thoughts were kind of in this empty spot there and then I settle on it to the left hand side of my photo and I'm quite happy with it there. It's a nice kind of central focal area around my photos um, so I'm just going to go with that. And then I'm just going to keep kind of continuing to um, embellish my layouts um, with all the fun little um, die cuts and bits and pieces. Um, I've got a lot a lot of the bits in that container are from um, some of the cut apart sheets that I've kind of just cut apart and popped in there but they're really big bulky pieces. I wanted some really pretty things so I have you can see I'm just piling stuff on top of it now but a bunch of fussy cut florals that are sitting there waiting to be used so I do bring in some of those but Firstly, I wanted to have a look through some of the embellishments because I know I've got a ton of those and now I've just made a mess. <laughs> That's alright, it's easy to put back together. <laughs> um, I still just work my way through there. And I mean, because these are books, um, it kind of lends uh, itself to kind of really putting anything on the page. When I think of reading, you just kind of think of anything's possible right um, a good book has just about anything it can go just about anywhere so having uh, lots of little different little icons kind of popping out of those pages um, is always a fun direction to go and that's the direction I obviously go with this layout um, so yeah just kind of work my way through if you're wondering what the photos are they're a little bit blurry and that's okay I don't mind if my photos aren't perfect I mean it's telling the story and uh, the girls uh, this is um, Edison and my niece, as they call it, is uh, Milo and Marshmallow Night. Now, if you don't know what Milo is, think of it like a Kiwi version of hot chocolate. It's a malted milk, malted chocolate uh, drinking powder. You can have it with, you can just put it in a cold glass of milk. Or um, you can make it like you would a hot cocoa or um, uh, a cup of coffee, <laughs> I guess, if you add a little bit of water and some milk. Um, I think hot cocoa is made with just milk, I'm not too sure. <laughs> uh, but that's kind of the Kiwi, Kiwi version. Um, and so uh, the school every year puts on this Milo Marshmallow Night um, and you've, the kids have got to get tickets. There's only limited tickets. Um, and what they do is at the end of the school day, they rock on up. It's probably not too far away this year, actually, because I think it's around Easter. Um they rock on up um, close to bedtime after they've had tea in their pyjamas and slippers and everything and they kind of run around the school, they go from classroom to classroom, uh, one of the teachers is in each of the classroom and they go through, they basically read the kids a book so they're just kind of hopping around hearing a bedtime story, <laughs> it's, it's a really cool idea, I love it, um, but this is the girls we've just got to school. Uh, that evening and they are racing to go <laughs> and find the classroom uh, that they're supposed to be in to read the book so uh, that's why the photos are a little bit blurry but it's um it's always a fun uh, fun thing to do each year um, I think Eddie's been every year she's been at primary school this is her last year at primary school let me just take a minute for that to sink in <laughs> her last year at primary school that's crazy I cannot believe my child is um, it's just a couple of months shy of turning 11 years old. I still very much think of her as my little baby. <laughs> um, and, uh, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, trying to, yeah, just grasp the fact that she's getting very much so more independent and developing a, an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> which she's got some opinions uh, and developing her voice is uh, a really really interesting change in parenting I remember her when she was she was such an easy baby she was just beautiful happy little baby and when she was a toddler she was very much the same she was so easy going and I mean I was a struggling kind of uh, first time mum everything was new on me and she just made it so easy coupled with the fact that we'd moved out to the farm and I was trying to work at like feeding calves and then um, just just kind of trying to find that life balance while having a baby and working really, really hard and feeling like you're doing it all by yourself because obviously Hamish is uh, working on a dairy farm and it just 
consumes his life, really. Um, it was interesting, but she made it easy. A um, couple now, well, moving on now to the fact that she's uh, nearly a teenager. She's not far away. <laughs> um, and she's kind of developing that personality and realising that um, she can say no. <laughs> Whether she gets her way or not is another story, um, but it's interesting. I I like to think of myself as a very kind of vocal person. When I feel like I, I need to say something, I'll say something. Um, and um, like I'm not a pushover. So I while I want her want to encourage her to respect her older generation, I don't want to stifle that kind of. Um, uh, kind of use your voice mentality in her um, so it's, it's, a, it's a fine balance where kind of a little bit of a tightrope we're walking on at the moment but it's fun okay so while I've been jabbering through all of that um, I've done most of my layout I've added some glued everything down I've added some sprinkly bits have I added the sprinkly bits yet? I don't think I have um, but I am going to, I've just trimmed down a little bit off each of those white borders and here's where I bring back in that white, um, pink, uh, pattern paper. I'm just going to border it with that. It's a nice touch, I think. Um, so I've gutted it. I don't want to waste it. It's a really beautiful pink. So definitely want to use that again. And I'm just going to glue it in place. I've left a really, really thin border. So that's particularly why I've chosen to glue it. Um, so I just work my way around doing that. Um, and then I can flip over the edges and adhere the rest down. Really, really like this layout when it's um, finished. And obviously I did put a title down, read, I mean, I thought it was easy. <laughs> Simple. Like, why make life harder, right? <laughs> if there's a, a ready-made title or something that immediately jumps to mind, let's just go with it. Um, and I like that I've got that black font there. It really pops off the page. And everything else is just kind of mellow. Like there's a lot going on, um, but it's all just kind of mellowed and just hanging out in the background. And then we've got Reed in my title and that lovely shaker pock, and it's all just kind of bringing your focus into the important part of the layout, right? The photos. Okay, so here's where I bring in some sequins. So we've got some little white ones. Are they sequins or gems? I don't know something sparkly so I'm going to add a few of those on and then I decide let's add some of those colorful ones that I've chosen that are inside my shaker pocket around as well so I sprinkle a few of those and then um, after that I think that that's pretty much it for my layout so um, make sure you check out the links in the description box below and um, until next time bye guys mm -hmm.